This is the plaintiff, Tracy Carpenter. She says the defendant, her ex, owes her for unpaid bills from when they shared a house together. Now that the defendant's met someone else, she thinks she can just run away from her financial commitments to her. And she's here to tell her she can't. She's suing her ex-lover for $1,982.13 and hopes to win it all today in this court. This is the defendant, Stacy McCall. She says she doesn't owe the plaintiff a penny. When they split up, the plaintiff smashed her TV. She also stole her bedroom set. If you ask her, they're more than even. She thinks the judge will agree, and that's why she hasn't paid the plaintiff any money. She's accused of letting her girlfriend down. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to work. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're Tracy welcome, Carpenter, you're suing your former partner, Stacy McCall, for $1,982.13 that you say she owes you in various bills and items that are missing. Um, okay, how long were you two together? Uh, eight years. Okay, and you lived together for how many of them? Um, we lived together for 11. Okay. How can you live together for 11 if you were together for eight? <laughs> yeah, well, we, right when we met, we moved in very quickly. Um, oh, so you continued to live with each other three years after breaking up? Yes. We were very, everything was very, very civil. And then it just kind of went downhill towards... That's a little unusual, though. Oh, did you, oh, you owned a house together? Is we that owned why? a home together. Both of our names were on and the And it house. was just too complicated to sell the house? Um, well, the market was down. Our house is underwater. We were going to lose money. So we waited until the market got back up so we can make a little bit of a profit. So you break up and you continue to live together for three more years? Yes. And are you each dating other people during that time? Yes. How's that working out? Like, that had to be weird. Uh, we never brought really anybody home. Okay. <laughs> so you never rubbed it in each other's faces? Until the end. Who rubbed who? She was bringing someone home? All right. Um, what goes wrong? What went wrong here? Till the end, then apparently you two aren't getting along, and what happens? Um, well, right about uh, April, she was seeing uh, somebody, and that somebody was coming over not just once or twice. It was every day at 24-7. She started living there. So I said to that she needs to start paying a third of rent, or she needs to kind of leave and come back here and there, and that's about it. And it just got to the point where she would not tell her at all, and she would not get out of the house. And it just kind of started getting more and more escalated. And I just got overwhelmed to the point where I said, we need to sell the house because I can't handle this anymore. Well, yeah, that, that would eventually happen in any, yeah. <laughs> yeah, selling the house was kind of in the stars. Okay, so yeah. go on. Well, we signed the contract. We agreed to sell the house. Well, I ended up, any kind of repairs that needed to be done with the house, which was the you know, fixing the garage door, fixing all this stuff. And I took all that on. Money came out of my pocket for it. Did um, she agree to pay for part of it? Um, well, for the garage door, we agreed to split 50-50 on it. Okay, go on. And the broken window, what happened for that? We had an argument with the TV. What was two. the argument with the TV about? Okay, well, um, after we broke up, we agreed that, okay, this one TV was going to be mine, and this other TV was going to be hers. Okay. Well, she, uh, she ended up pawning it so she can get some money. And she goes, well, if you want it, you can go to the pawn shop and get it out, and it's your TV because you bought it. So I did. How long ago had that been? Almost a year okay. before. So then on that fine day, what happens? I come downstairs from work because we work from home upstairs in our office. And she goes, I need to pay my bills. And she goes, I'm going to pawn the TV. I said, you're not pawning my TV. She goes, that's not your TV. That's my TV. It's on my credit card. I go, no, we had the agreement. She ran over the TV and started ripping the plugs out of the back. And she grabbed the, the side of the TV. I grabbed the other side of the TV. And as she was pulling it, I was pulling it back. And then she ended up just really doing a hard yank and the TV Where dropped. did you guys think that, yeah, if, you know, the tug of war over a TV was going to end other than breaking the TV? I wasn't thinking at the moment. What's, tell me, let's talk to me. I want to hear from you on the TV issue. Okay. So we're arguing about money, about bills, because there were two weeks where I did not get a paycheck, and she knew this. We have the same employer. I so just... you, you, want, you have some other bills. You need to pay them. You want to take the TV. According to her, you had, she had taken it out of hawk before, and mm -hmm. it was supposed to be her TV. True or not true? True. 
True? True. Okay, mm -hmm. so you wanted to take her TV and pawn it. She's, I said, we agreed. The TV would stay in the house until it was sold. And then she wanted to give it to her girlfriend at the time. And I was like, I'm not going to take the TV. I'm just going to, I don't want her to take it. I don't want your girlfriend to take it out of the house. Why not? It's not your TV. You left when? Uh, July 24th. What I'd like to hear from you is how does the leaving happen? The TV cracks. Huh? Okay. And then what happens? So then I go to the theater. I come home to an empty house. All of my personal items are thrown on the floor. I don't know who's removed my stuff, who's been through my stuff. What's your stuff that's been removed? My furniture. And you're skipping some parts. You guys are arguing like crazy. The TV gets cracked. Yeah. Then you go to theater, but she calls you and says, you locked the door, you locked me out, I don't have my key. No, she said I locked myself out. I, I locked myself out, I don't have my key. And when you get back, she has done what? Broken a window, which you're trying to get her to pay for. Because, of course, what can you do when you're locked out but break the window? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. No, no. Did you break the window because you didn't have a key on you? Oh, because I was on my lunch break at work because I work from home. So you broke a window and you want her to pay for it. Okay, I got that one. All right, now, you come back from the theater and there's no furniture and you agree. What do you, how did you get the... How long was the movie that you got rid of all the furniture in a house that quickly? And you did it out of spite, obviously, uh -huh. because nobody does that without, like, saying, okay, let's agree on who takes what and all that. Right, right. No, I was angry. Yeah. I was very upset. And so you li how did you manage to get a truck to be able to take all of that furniture out of a house? Me and my girlfriend at the time and my stepfather, my stepbrother, we, uh, we went to Home Depot, rented a Penske truck, drove it back to the house, and we got the house unloaded. And Why is that okay? What was yeah. making you so mad? The TV thing? No, it was just everything that piled up on top of it since April all the way up until July. All right, $144.50, amount owed for broken window. Oh, I think not. Uh, the TV, let's put to one side. $200 for loan for tree removal. We didn't talk about that. What's that? Well, we're talking about uh, doing a tree removal and getting a tree removal company. The girl she was seeing at the time, her uh, stepson, actually said, I could do the, t uh, the trees for... $200 under the table. Okay. So I said, I prefer not to do that just because it's under the table. So she ended up uh, having him coming over to do the tree removal. I'm like, I'm not paying for that tree removal. We so what ended up happening? Did you pay for the tree removal? She asked me, can I borrow the money? And I ended up For the tree for removal that you don't want to pay for? Correct. Is that accurate? No. We what agreed together as homeowners that we would have the trees removed. All right, yes. so you had the trees removed? Yes. What's your position on the cable bill? I feel as though I was evicted from my own home at that point. I also work from home. I did not feel safe there. I don't know who's been in my house. There's a broken window. I have nowhere to sleep. I'm not going to pay bills when I can't even live in my own home. Okay, but one of them is from June. Weren't you living there in June? Yes. When did you leave in July? July 24th. Okay, so you were kind of there that in June and July. Yeah, right. Have you paid June and July? No. No, because she took all the furniture. Right. Right, okay. All right, I got it. But you do agree then that you would owe the June and July, right? I would have easily paid, of course, yes. Okay. Uh, but now you're, now you're making me force you to pay. All right, what is this about cable boxes? Um, I left the cable boxes so I have internet access for work. I had no internet access at all. I didn't know what was going on. And then I, I went downstairs and I noticed all the boxes were missing, so I couldn't work. So I had to... Okay, and where did those go? I did not take them. You um, didn't? Mm -hmm, correct. I really? Know, really, I did not. I know someone went in, like, after they found out what happened and went into the house. <laughs> Who's that? Took, your girlfriend? No, a friend. Yeah. Went and then, in and did that, like, to spider? Yeah. You know, I love you two so much, I cannot begin to tell you. Each of you has readily admitted to whatever miserable thing you did to each other. Even the, I didn't take the cable boxes, but, but someone I know who heard about the situation came in later. Mm -hmm. You took all that stuff to Goodwill, why? I was angry. I was really angry, I was fed up. I mean, I can't even imagine you arguing. <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Can you live with somebody when you break up with them? If you want to live in a toxic situation. Does it have to be toxic? Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, see, I just, you thought about it for a second. There you go. What do you say? No. Why? Do Can't do it. Tell me why. Too much tension. There's what if there's no tension when you break up? 
but is it still a bad idea? Still a bad idea. But why? You have to move forward. There's a, there's a reason for this, why? Come there's on, you guys know. Tension. No, no, no. Why is there? You to, if you're starting to date other people, it's going to be awkward. There to you go, right? It can be fine when you guys are both single, but all of a sudden, right? You're bringing somebody home and then weird things can happen. Yes, going inside the courtroom. As for the loan for tree removal, that is the, really the only thing that you guys kind of disagree on. Um, what was the total bill for tree removal? There was an additional 200 because I have to. I had to pay to have the rest of the trees removed. So it was 200 and 200. So I thought, we is that good. accurate? Right. Yeah. yeah. She had to pay. Well. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. Um, the trees were removed and you got your money's worth. So why she would have to pay you for that, I don't know. And the answer is no. Ninety-five dollars to the garage door opener. You agree that you owe that, right? Right. Okay. And the cable bill for June and July that you've handed to me. Let me go over those. Is two fifty twelve her half? Yes. So that sounds accurate in terms of it's about two fifty a month. Okay. Yes. All right, that takes care of that one. Uh, electric bill, June, July, and August. Electric bill. Okay. Now, based on what I've heard, and I'm going to order not the amount that you're suing for, but the following amount: one hundred and fifty for the TV, the ninety five for the garage door, the two hundred and fifty twelve for the cable bill the 573.32 for the electric bill, including August, because you're both homeowners and you're both responsible for it, and the 321 for the cable boxes, for a total of $1,068.44, verdict for the plaintiff. I think that you both behaved a little badly. I gotta be honest with you, I kind of think that you behaved more badly, but <laughs> you know. Um, that, whole, that whole wipe out the furniture thing was a little vicious, but so I hope that you both find peace and happiness in your next worlds together, or apart. Yes. Take care. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, the plaintiff prevails, but she doesn't get everything she was seeking. <laughs> You're rolling your eyes. What's the matter? What are you I'm, thinking? I'm just glad it's over with. That's uh, fine. She can have her little petty money. I mean, the judge said you were so peaceful in this, and everybody mm -hmm. agreeing, but... I'm just done, so <laughs> I'm glad okay. it's over. Thank you very much. I'm Thank sure you. you are. Here comes the plaintiff, Ms. Carpenter. I guess you're glad this is over too, aren't you? Yes. Thank yes. God, we right? We can finally move on and, you know, maybe eventually, you know, just be civil and be friends right. eventually. We never heard about the sale of the house. Did you do okay in that? Yeah, we made a little, we made a little bit of money, well, so which is good. better than nothing. Okay, you bet your boots. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Harvey? Okay, these guys are all right. I mean, it sounds like a great idea in theory. It's just never a good idea to live together once you break up. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.